Have you ever wondered how the other creators able to edit their face cams and videos separately? And recording your face cams and videos separately can actually increase your video quality. And the most important is editing flexibility. Trust me, it saved me tons of time. And the best part is when it comes to editing a face cam, you can actually place it whenever location you want in your video for better viewer experience. All of this can be done by most of the editing software, but for me, I'm using CapCut. So by the end of this video, we're gonna show you few ways on how to export and edit your recorded footage. If you are enjoying my content so far, do give this video a big thumbs up. It could really help the channel out. And do not forget to subscribe for more upcoming content. So let's stop talking and dive right into it. So I have my stream apps OBS open up right now. So before you going in to record your face cams and videos separately, first thing first, you have to make some settings. So how to do it? I'm going to show you right now. Go to the bottom left that you'll see this settings icon in your stream OBS. Just click it and you'll see this video icon here. Just click this video and you'll see this base canvas resolutions and also the output scale resolutions. So base canvas resolution is basically the resolution of your current monitor that you use and output resolution is the footage that you record called you want that footage to output in what resolutions so that my monitor is actually using 2k's monitor but when it comes to recording both face cams and videos separately if you want to record in 2k's resolution it takes quite a system so my system it doesn't really support both of it yes it can but it really burdens my system so if you got a really good base system out there you can go for 2k for both so you'll see this figure 3840 times 1080p so how this figure works so basically 3840 times 1080p it came from 1920 times 1080p you have to take 19 20 times 2 so you have double the width but 1080p just remain the same oh and one more thing remember to set the same figure to your output you have to make it both the same figure so once you set it and you'll see something like this which is really really long but wait for the magic to happen let me just open up my video capture device a real quick work all right you can basically see that there nice. are two separate windows recording on the left is my video capture device which is my face cam on the right is actually my display capture so now you can actually record your footage your face cams and your videos separately so this is actually how it works so after you record your video and face cam separately the next thing you want to do is to edit your footage but remember the location that you save your footage you have to remember so how do you edit your footage first thing first come to the editing software the one that i'm using right now is CapCut. import the video that you want to edit for example i'm gonna edit this video right here i'm gonna just click open and you'll see this is the video that we record separately that we are using 3840 times 1080p so how do you want to crop it and adjust the face cam whenever location that you want and this is where the magic happens first thing first you're gonna do is bring up your projects and i would suggest that you copy your project just click ctrl c i'm still a beginner right now so i'm still learning we got so much more to learn but this is priority setup that beginners have to know it really saves your time so copy your footage and paste it and you'll see double footage right here so what you gonna do first thing i usually use the first one as my cam and the second one as my video i'm gonna just edit and crop your base cam all right and just click confirm and you'll see there's another face cam but before that remember to change the ratio to whenever ratio that you want but i let's say that we are using 16 by 9 so just click 16 by 9 so this is your face cam but it will be too big but no worry always remember that you can actually adjust your cam and secondly change the ratio to 16 by 9 and it's done crop the ratio and this will be my gameplay and click let me adjust it a bit more and click confirm all right 
So you see, now I got my full video gameplay and my base cam separately. So you can adjust to whatever location you want. And another thing that you can do, which is really interesting, you come to this mask and you'll see this horizontal mirror, circle, rectangle, heart, and stars. So I usually use circle. So what does it do? It actually turns your face cam into a circle that you can actually adjust. After you have adjust, and just turn it to basic. And you can actually move whenever you want in your video. This is how you can actually adjust your face cams and your videos that you recorded. How amazing is that? So that actually makes a big help to me when I'm editing my video. As you can see, even my video right now cannot be using separately. So that is how you record your face cams and videos separately. But when it comes to recording, I'll drop a link on the description below on my previous video on how to actually set up your recordings for Streamlab OBS. Happy streaming, happy recording. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.